WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks, to your 2 p.m. update. We've got the Dow up 59 points, well off its highs, trading out at 25, 576. Uh, all the indices still in the green right now, anywhere from about uh, a quarter percent. That's the Dow. That's the weakest. The strongest is the uh, New York Stock Exchange. That's up uh, four tenths of a percent. Uh, but the New York Stock Exchange uh, doesn't have enough market breadth here to tell you or tell me that it is buyers that are actually in control of that market. The real key level that you're going to want to watch today. I believe is going to be the spot volatility index. Right now, she is trading out at uh, 1563. The number you're going to want to watch is 1608. If price closes over 1608, uh, we've got trouble in River City. If it closes below 1608, we just have this sideways choppy market. Now, the sideways choppy market looks like this. It's called the consolidation. This is the Dow. It's trading between a range. This is the Dow Equity Futures contract, about 26,200 to about 26,256. That's the sideways choppy consolidation. No one is happy in a consolidation, at least not one with a narrow range like this. The key is, what's the Dow going to do? Is it going to bust to the upside or bust to the downside? If it busts to the upside, you're looking at 27.123. If it busts to the downside, you're looking at a price target of 24.317. Well, which one is it, Stephen? Well, if we take a look at uh, this chart here, this is take a look at the Dow cash indice. If we're looking for any kind of a top, well, here's what we know. The Dow actually topped back here with this little shooting star on February 25th. As it was doing that, it was forming that Tommy DeMarc setup nine count. Now, what Price hasn't done is bust through one of the support levels established by that nine count. That's from the bottom or the low of the trading session of February 12th. That key low is 25,152. Nonetheless, Stevie's green line continues to act as resistance, as it did on Friday of last week. That's all it was, was a test of that line. When you test that line and it's green, it says a further retracement is to come. Whether or not the Dow busts out the bottom of that consolidation, I don't know. But if it does, we're looking at 24,317. If we look at the S&P 500, has this formed a top? A Rhodes Momentum indicator top formed on Friday when the little bear sash candle out there. So we've got topping signals galore, even the NDX 100. Thanks so much for being here. That was a Tom DeMarc setup nine count on Friday. Take care. Stay tuned. David White's up next.